Hi, everyone or anyone. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm just going to sit here for a minute. I'm going to pull it up on my other devices and wait for anybody to show up on this Friday the 13th. Let's see if I can get it on my phone. Do I have the chat so I can see it? I think so. Oh, there we go. Make sure my volume's off. I just want to be able to see the chat, which I'll pull it up on my webcam. On my, there it is. Hi, Angie. Hi, Linda. Hi, Mags. All right, I probably should do it on my iPad so that I can put it over. Hi, Jean. How are you? Happy Friday the 13th, everyone. Today we're going to play with paint and string. Something I've been wanting to try. I've been seeing a few videos. So we're going to see how it goes. Let's make sure I have my volume down on here. I don't want any. All right. Connecting, really. See, this is probably what it's going to do tonight. Hi, Christina. How are you? Hi, Lorna. How are you? Well, I'm not playing with journals tonight. I'm playing with paper and string and paint and chain. And we're going to try and make some flowers and stuff. So, and see how it goes. And can we use them in our journals? Of course we can. So, I'm just trying to pull me up here. My tablet is so old that it takes forever to do anything but I want to be able to have it over here when I start doing it so that I can see the chat I think I got it so how's everybody doing tonight anybody crafting tonight anybody crafting this weekend it is a Friday the 13th and guess what usually when it falls on a Friday the 13th in September it also falls on a Friday the 13th in December which is my birthday and my birthday will be on a Friday the 13th again <laughs> hi Dana how are you so I have this cool um pad that I won off of one of Patty shows this uh art pad and some cool markers so I'm going to be doing it in that pad on that paper because it's a really smooth paper and I think it'll it'll turn out pretty good. Taking a little break, working on oh, oh my goodness. 12. How's the eco dyeing going? I'm excited to see that, Lorna. I'm gonna have to get some of that from you. Hi Kat, how are you? And you know what? I feel like I need to tilt my head this way. It's like I tilt my head and it looks like this is straight. So it's like I got to tilt my head. I feel like my head is crooked, but then it's straight. It's so weird. Maybe my floor is crooked. <laughs> and then everything's backwards. So when I go to do my hair, I almost want to go this way because I'm seeing myself backwards. Halloween flower. Oh, geez. By the way, <laughs> here comes Dustin. Blumhouse Black Christmas comes out. Really? Comes out on my birthday? Nice, Dustin. I can't craft right now. I'm going to use thumbnail to take off. The mother got her finger in a leaf blower yesterday and cut it. So, okay. Well, that doesn't sound fun. I'm still recovering from all the eco dying yesterday. Nice. Yeah, I keep driving by all the flowers looking at them saying, I need to go and pick some flowers um, before they all die because I do want to try it. Um, me and Shell have been talking about doing it. So, I do want to try it and see how it turns out. I'm sure it will look nothing like yours, Lorna, but um, I want to try it, you know, and make some paper. I have three times this week. Aw, oh, I hope you feel better, Linda. Where is my warm welcome, everyone? Hi, Dustin. How are you tonight? <laughs> Just loaded a new journal to my Etsy shop and recorded a flip through video. Yay, cat. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't want an Etsy, but I do have to post some stuff in Michelle's D stash group. I did finish my um, attache and it is for sale. So I need to get that up with some pictures over there. Um, 
in her DStash page, her DStash cells page, and um, I'll probably post it in my group. You will do awesome. It doesn't always work out. It's yeah, and it'll be a miss for me, Lorna. Watch. It'll be like the most disastrous thing you've ever saw. Oh, hi, Edna. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I've been like hit or miss here for a while, and um, I will be next week too because um, next week is family day at um, our family weekend at my daughter's college. So I will be leaving right from work on Friday to drive six hours after driving a bus all day. <laughs> um, I'll probably get there around, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 1130 or so. And then um, I'll leave early Sunday morning because of course I'll have to go back to work on Monday. I'm doing good, Edna. Oh, you were asking how Mags is doing. Sorry, I was reading that wrong. So I'll be going to see her and then she has a horse show the following weekend, which would be nice if I, you know, she wasn't so far and I could go and see those. It's, yes, it's been a while. Aw, Sleeping Beauty. Aw. Well, hello, Miss Patty. I love that it says Patty Lang Sacred Mementos now. That's awesome. I cannot believe that Lauren is working on 12 journals. I can barely get one done at a time, much less 12. But I know everybody has a system like Patty. Patty has an amazing system for cranking them out as well. She's got that, uh, what, what's, what's the word for it? What do I always say? Production line going on. Oh, I will, Angie. I will make sure to stop and take a break. Um, I, Used to go the six hours all the way through, but after driving for 10 hours all day and then driving another six, I will make sure to stop because when I when I stop for gas and get out and walk around and stuff, I, I have learned that, that I can't sit for um, six hours straight because then the next day my legs don't want to work. Even when I'm on the bus, I stop every time I drop off of school, I get out for a minute and I walk around and um, then get back on the bus. Well, yeah, but the tatting, that's the bomb. Yeah, my tatting. I've been doing a lot of that. Hi, Galena. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a long time either. Where have you been? I think everybody's just been super busy and finding all these other channels to watch. And there's just so much going on on YouTube and everything. And But I haven't forgotten any of you. How are you doing, Galena? Because she loves purple too. Hence the name, Galena Purpleina. I have a pile, but one at a time. Exactly. 12 days of Christmas, so 12 journals. Oh, wow. That's going to be cool, Lorna. I just about finished my first order. It was a big order. So um, if anybody is out there looking for tatting, just let me know. Um, I do have a few other things to make, but I just finished. Um, I'm just about finished with uh, a big order I was working on. So I'm getting, uh, can really crank it out lately. Working on six journals to send with Patricia stuff. That is awesome, Linda. I am good. Busy, busy with work, Galena. This time of year, um, especially nowadays, I'm gone from five to five. So there isn't, you know, and then by the time I get home, I don't have a lot of crafting time during the week. So I try to do a lot on the weekend. And then, you know, in between other things that I got to get done on the weekend that I can't do during the week. I need to just win the lottery so I can sit home and craft all day. You know, that, that, would, that would be the goal. That would be my goal. My cup looks like almost like it's bigger than me, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> All right, well, I guess I can switch over and um, I guess I can switch over and we can start. Let me switch my uh, camera. So if anybody has anything to say, any questions or anything, just type in all caps. Um, I'll see it much faster than just um, the regular chat. I mean, I try and keep up on the chat as well. It's a little different when I'm by myself. But I do want to work on some of this, and I will be keeping my eye on the chat. And if you have any questions or 
any, you know, yeah, we should win. Yes, we should win the lottery. Yes, my cup, Dustin. Um, or any uh, ideas or anything, please, by all means, just um, put it in caps and I'll see it. So I'm going to switch my um, camera. And it should be nice and close. And I put a piece of paper here because I cannot stand the light right on the glass. But I love my glass mat. So, like I said, I have this awesome... Um, it's a vellum surface, so it is um, really smooth. So I think it's going to work really well. And I'm going to start from the back. And I don't know if you guys have seen this before. Um, there's quite a few videos out there. And I know some people were doing it for a while, and I had, had not got to try. And so hold on. There we go. It's probably going to do that on and off, ladies. I apologize, but you would think my room was on the moon. Hi, Sandra. How are you? So let me move my wet, my tablet so I can see it. Yeah, I love these mixed me this mixed media paper. How you doing, Sandra? So, um, and I've been following this one channel, and I see the short little blurbs. I, I'll call them on YouTube on your homepage, and um, she makes these flowers and stuff with all different stuff like straws and spoons, and she did one with chain the other day. So I. Pulled out a few pieces of small chain, so we're going to try that as well. But I took some strings, and I just put them right inside my paint bottles. Um, I don't have a lot of colors. You guys know me. I tend to, I always had everything in purple. So I've got some purple, some blue, a green, some pink, some metallics, yellow, um, a brown. So we're just going to try different ones and see what we can come up with. So I'm going to shake it up just because I want to make sure the string gets coated. And then I do have gloves because. I don't want, um, I'm, I'm going to try and be neat. I don't know how that's going to work because I'm not, um, once I get crafting, I'm not the neatest person on the face of the earth, but I'm going to try. I'm good. I'm good. Just busy with, just busy with work, Sandra. So I want to try this metallic one first and we're going to see what we can do. <laughs> Is this may, you know, like the uh, eco dyeing, it may turn out great. It may be, may be a big giant flop, but we'll see. Let me get this over here. All right, Mags, where'd you go? I'm gonna need your guys' help. You and Patty, you're gonna have to help me with chat and and uh in caps so I can see everything. I've done a few string paintings a while back. These are cool. Nice, Edna. My daughter and I try good. See, I haven't tried it yet, so I wanted to try it tonight. Because I just wanted to do something different. So I stuck it in here and I'm just gonna. Bring the string out. I put a, I probably put way too much string, so we're going to see. Oh, and it's stuck now. See? See, here's where the neatness becomes not neat anymore. Because I've already got the string stuck. There we go. Is it coming out? No. So here we go. We're going we're gonna to start with a big mess first. Because it's all stuck up in there. So we're going to pull it out. Fix it up. See, there we go. Oh, it's a big giant knot. There we go. So I'm going to try and, uh, like I said, I might have made my string way too long. Look, I even got drops on there. I know kind of what I want to do. So I'm going to try and do that and see how it turns out. Like I said, this could be a big giant disaster by the time I'm done. Let's get this over here. And one more here. Come on, bend. Of course, the last one's not going to bend the way I want it to. Ah, come on, you can do it. You can do it. And we're just going to bring it down like this. Maybe. Off my finger. I might end up having to take these gloves off. And then we're just going to bring it down here. And then we're going to close the book. And I'm going to hold it tight and we're going to pull and see, I'm probably not going to be able to use the gloves because I can't push on the book like this. So we're going to take these off. I'm just going to have to be careful when I do this. We'll just put it back on. Hi, Grace. How are you? Rust and vinegar with paper and plants. Uh, yeah, that doesn't sound like it smells good. Patty's eating chocolate cake. Really? She better not be. 
eating chocolate cake. We're here. Did you want us to read out? Yes. Can you read out loud for me, Patty? That'd be great. Hi, Denise. How are you? Thank you for joining us. All right. So I started at the back of the book because I know this will be heavier. Now it is going to transfer onto this page too. And that's fine because I'm going to do another one next to it after this. So we're going to see how this looks. So we're going to close the book like this. And then we're going to press down and then we're going to pull on this string. So I'm actually going to put this one glove back on because I don't want the pink on my hands. And we're going to pull this string and see how it goes. Now I'm going to stand up because you want to press hard. <laughs> oh, and look, I pressed so hard that I broke the string. <laughs> see, this is where the the learning comes in. So let's try this because I think I did it. Press too hard. Let me grab the string. Be pretty strong. All right. Let's see what we do. Let's see the disaster we A too much pain in the center. See, this one looks pretty. That one doesn't look pretty. So let's do one next to it and see. Let's do a piece next to it. So now we're going to have to stick it back down here in the paint. Because I want to do the same color. I'm not going to do as long of a piece. So we're going to stick back in there. Put my glove on. Pull it off. And maybe not wrap them all so close together. So let's see. Let's see. And this one's not going to be long enough, so we're going to have to go like this. We're going to do it like that. Let's see if that works. Close our book. I like that. I just didn't like the top. Close our book. Press down. Not too hard. And pull our string. And let's see. Because there's got to be a good way to do this. And if anybody has an idea, let me know. See, that looks cool. So I kind of have the idea. I was trying to do a looped one, but maybe I need to do it bigger on a page. So we're going to, how are we going to do this? I'm going to have to take these out. So we're going to take these out. And let's see if we can do a bigger one. Because that didn't work out real well. Let's try another one. So let's try. Wow, this is new to me. Is this string painting? Yes, it is. And uh, on the videos I watched, they made it look so easy. Aw, thanks, Kat. Yeah, I am I like to try new things. I always want to learn something new. So um, now, see, I can't use these gloves because they're covered in paint. So I'm just going to have to use my fingers and baby wipes, I guess. So we're going to I have a lilac in here, so we're going to hopefully pull this one out. And it's going to get stuck, too, because I made it really long. Because Laurel's having definite issues tonight. So let's just unscrew it and get the knot out. I put a lot of string in here. <laughs> a lot of string. All right. Probably way too much string. So we're going to cut this one. Let's see if I can cut this. I didn't know how long you needed, so I was kind of just wrapping it around my hand. So we're going to try and do a big one like this and just go around and then bring it down. You can kind of shape them the way you want, too. So let's get this one over here like this, like that. Oh, let's try that. So let's close this. Wipe off our hands. Hi, Carla. How are you? We're just having fun making a mess. Hi, Shannon. All right. See, I'm missing chat. Hi, Rosemary. How are you doing, Shannon? I'm just making a mess tonight, trying something I haven't tried before. So we're going to see how it works. So now I'm going to pull the string. 
And we're going to open it up and see how it looks. Because I don't seem to be very good at this. Oh, see, that one looks cool. That looks cool. So I'm getting kind of the idea how you have to do this. So we're going to do another one right next to it. I'm going to take this piece that's all knotted. We're going to use that one. Take some of the paint off of it. Wait my hand. And we're going to do another one right next to it. Over there like that. Let's see. So let's close it back up. Press down. Look at my hands already covered. I can't wait to try the chain. <laughs> Working on a journal. Nice, Carla. Thank you. Waving the string back and forth, top to bottom. Try. Oh, I will definitely try that one. Let me do that one next. So I haven't done this before, so it's just a guessing thing for me. All right. I mean, I've seen it done, but I haven't watched that video in a while. I just got through watching the one where they do it with the chain. Yeah, that one didn't turn out as nice as this. So just wave it back and forth. All right. So we're going to we're gonna pull these two out. I'm going to get good use of this paper, Patty, really quick. Let me get another baby wipe. Okay, this is definitely a baby wipe thing, guys. You're going to need to wipe your hands a lot. All right, so let's take these two out. Lay them over here. I can always turn these into something. So we're going to try it and we'll wave it back and forth and see what happens. So let's open this one. And... You saw a face, Dustin? Looks like E.T. <laughs> All right. So let's see if I didn't make this one too long and it doesn't not like the other one did. And oh, I just bumped the thing up there. So sorry, guys. And I see it spinning. So, oh, whew. so just back and forth. Let's try. Let's go this way, this way. I know I'm bumping my webcam, guys. Sorry. My hand is like really high. This way, this way, this way, and down. Like that? I hope that's right. If your string is making noise, you're up. Oh, too much pressure? Okay. So maybe I need to lighten up a little bit. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Good evening. Happy Friday. All right. So let's try that one. Because we can always add another one into this. That would be cool. So not so much pressure. All right. All right. Let's just hold it lightly then. Ooh. <laughs> Got all these strings piling up over here. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Thank you, Shannon. Oh, my God. That looks amazing. Look at that. That looks so cool. Oh, I love that one. That'll look awesome on a journal page. I swear my phone is going to take off. <laughs> and I wasn't even pressing on that one. Thank you, Shannon. That was awesome. All right. So now we got to do another one in purple. So we're just going to bring the purple one back and we're going to stick it back in here and try it again. Because that looks cool. All right. We want to pull these two out. I'd like to do another one like over it and make a two tone, but I don't want to wreck this one. So we'll try it in another one. So let's get these out of here. I'm just kind of laying them out to dry. That one looks really cool. All right. So let's, I'm going to have papers laying all over the floor. So I want to do this lilac one again. And I got this paint here, so I need to clean it up. Thank you, guys. Yeah, that one turned out awesome, didn't it? And you can add stuff to them. I can add a little bit in between and just pull. I bet that'll look really pretty. All right, so let's get this purple one back in here. And try it with the purple. But oh my God, they made it look so easy. 
And it is not as easy as you think, but I can't wait to try it with the chain. I would, Dustin, but I don't have a larger book right now. So that's why I'm playing with this little book, because this is a trying thing. I haven't done it before. Would that work with yarn? I don't know. I have some different threads here. This is crochet cotton I'm using right here. So we'll see. So let's do this one. Pull this one back out. Ooh, that paint all came out. Hold on. We got a mess going. So let's try. I wonder if I could do it like halfway. So let's go this way, this way, this way. I'm going to do one right next to it too. This way, this way, this way, and down. And then I'm going to do a blue one next to it and see how that looks. But hold on. I just made a paint catastrophe over here. And I don't want it to get all over the book. So we're going to clean it up. Move this out of the way, and then we're going to do one in blue, too. You just get thicker lines. Okay. Can you do two different color strings at the same time to make two tone flowers? I'm going to try that with the chain. I'm going to show you, Linda, but we're going to try and see how it all works out. Like I said, this is just a trial thing for me. But I wanted to try and make different flowers. That's why that first one, I was doing all loops like that. So let's put the blue one back in. And see um, if we can do the blue next to the purple. Where's my tweezers here? Hold on, guys. I need my tweezers. Uh, no, no, no. See, now I'm dripping all over. Yep, now I'm making a mess. It's okay. That one will have some purple dots on the paper. And you're going to have to excuse my arms. Because there's nowhere else for me to put them while I'm putting the paint in there. Let's see if I can get this off here. Mm. All right. Good enough. All right. So let's try this one. We're going to try doing it right next to it. All right. It's kind of hard to control here. Let's go this way. This way. Ah. Sorry, guys, I'm concentrating, so hold on. And we're going to bring this over to here like that. Kind of overlap them a little bit. All right, let's close the book. Press it down just a little bit. Hairy armor, Laurel, up close. Yes, I'm Greek, so yes, I'm, I'm very hairy. <laughs> But yes, we'll try two different colors, one on top the other, and see what happens too. I'll do the, maybe I'll do these two if they don't run together. So let's get these ready. Hold it down just slightly and pull. I'm trying not to press hard, guys. All right. Pray it turns out. I want to pray it turns out. Let's flip it over. And let's see. Oh, it looks pretty. Look at that. This one I didn't have quite enough paint on or it was starting to dry, but that looks really cool. I think this one needs to be like curved instead of just straight. But that looks cool. Because these all can be used for something. So let's try. Let's try and do a, uh, let's, let's get, well, we might as well keep working with these for now. So let's do the blue and purple and let's see if we can do them one on top of the other and see how that looks. Cause that's how they did it with the chain and it looks so cool, but it makes a completely different kind of flower. All right, let's get this, stop it from dripping. Told you I'm trying to be neat. And this is going to turn into a very not neat project. Watch. Because I'm just going to have this stuff everywhere. So let's get the purple in. In there. And then let's get our blue one in so that we're ready. Because I don't want them to dry. I think that purple started to dry. <laughs> Mixed media is a code word for major mess. Yes, it is. 
200 lady from PA. Sell, sell, sell. Oh, geez. <laughs> You're funny, Dustin. All right, let's try this one and then we'll put them on top of each other and see how it looks. But I'm going to, I am going to curl that top one down first and see how that looks. I don't think it should just be coming straight out like that, but we'll see. It's all about learning, right? And playing and trying different things. So we'll see how it works out. All right, so I think we're going to do the blue first and then we'll do the purple over it. The lilac over it. It's 2 a.m. in the UK. Holy cow. All right. See if I can do this without pumping my webcam or my lights or anything. Because this one's really long for some reason. All right. So let's start this way. Down this way. And then we'll go back and forth. Let's try a little bit different angle. Like this. And then get a little bit bigger as we go to the bottom. And then down. And then we'll put the purple right on top of it. So let's get this one out real quick. Purple. I don't think the purple's quite as long. So we're going to go. I'm going to try and follow it a little bit. This isn't going to be exact, guys. But let go of my finger. This way. This way. This way. And this way. And this one almost doesn't want to come out the bottom. So we may have to move this one over a little. All right. We're going to try that. Hi, Debbie. How are you? All right. Press it down. Clean my hands. Oh, my gosh. Look at my hands. <laughs> my nails need to be done. Good thing I didn't do them yet because this is quite messy. I almost need to go wash my hands. All right. Now I need to get these together and pull at the same time. So... We don't want to push hard because it shouldn't make noise, I'm guessing. All right. Hopefully that worked. Let's flip over the book. Oh, I'm almost afraid to look. Here we go, guys. Ready? Let's see if I can get this page up. Oh. That looks pretty. See, I like it much better with this curled and as it gets bigger at the bottom. That's really pretty. I like that. All right. That one's pretty. The lilac could have been a little bit thicker or I should have used a darker purple, but that's okay. So we'll pull these two out and I'm going to try a different kind of one with the chain. And I'll show you. I just broke, I just put little pieces of chain. So I'm just going to put them in. I know I pulled out a paint palette. I pulled out some paint palettes. And I'm going to put a little bit of paint in here. We're going to use some different colors. I'm going to use um, a pink. And let's do a pink and a green. And see how I think I have a, do I have a string in the green too? Nope, not yet. All right. So we're going to try a pink and a green. And I'll show you because they actually put it, um, they didn't put it on the chain. That's right. They put it on the paper. So I may have to use a brush to do this because if I squeeze it out of here, I think it's going to do too much. But we're going to try and see. Like that. And then I need the pink. Oh, the pink has a string in it. Let's get a different pink. We used to put eggs in those when we were kids. And dip nuggets. What? And dip what out? I'm trying to do this not real thick, but. And then you put the chain over it. Like this. So I got a piece of chain. I know they had it in the middle, but if I do it in the middle, you're not going to get both colors. So I'm going to do it like that. I may need more paint. Used to dip nuggets in these. What are you talking about, Dustin? It's always telling me things I don't remember when we were at work. Of course, when I was at work. That's always when kids do things they're not supposed to, when their parents are at work. So then you take a little wire 
Now, again, this is going to be a hit or a miss. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. Um, and you grab the chain and you just drag it through here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, and this chain might not be heavy enough. I may need, yep, I'm going to need bigger chain. Like that. Oh, and then you drop it right on the center of your paper. So let's try, let's see if I can do this one more time. This chain just might not be heavy enough. We're going to put it right on top here one more time and go a little bit slower. So I'm going to put it right into the green. Press it down a little bit. See if we can get this going a little bit more. Probably should have used a darker color other than pink, but we'll see. So I'm going to just pull it at a different angle here. See if I can keep it close to the paper. Ah, and I forgot what kind of flower she called this. Ah, that one's not working real well, but I'm making a mess. So I think I need a heavier chain. So let's get a heavier chain, which is this one. So we're going to try this one on the other page. And I'm just going to cut a few links off. So let me get my nippers right here. Where are my nippers? Right here. I'm going to cut a piece of this off. Maybe, maybe not. Oh my gosh, there we go. A lily, yeah, kind of like a lily. All right, so we're going to put this down and then we're going to put, let's try, I'm sorry guys, you know me, I'm a purple person, so I got to try the purple. Purple. So we're going to put it right in the purple. It's supposed to actually make the designs of the chain. So we're going to use that purple and let's try this metallic um, teal. Oh my God, you used to use them for food, really? This is a brand new one. I haven't even opened it yet. All right, I hope I didn't miss anything in chat. I see Dustin's doing all the chatting right now. Can you wash the chain? Yep, I'm going to, Angie. So then I'm going to put the blue. Thing, so I don't know if I'm doing this right. I could have done another one down here, but let's try this. Ooh, try a hoop earring. Oh, jeez. All right, so we're just going to grab it and drag it along the paper. See, it's not. I wonder if something's not heavy enough. Because it shouldn't leave that big hole like that. So we're going to lay it down again because I need that middle. Maybe I'm just not putting enough paint. So let's put some in the middle. And then we'll put some more blue in the middle. Oh, I just got paint on my lips. I probably got purple lips right now. All right. That's a lot of paint. All right, so let's try it again. Lay it back down. Make sure it's in there. She made it look so easy. Yeah, it's not that easy, guys. So let's try it again. Keep it close to the paper. And pull. And then see if we can just bring this over here. Oh, I'm afraid to do this. I'm afraid it's going to mess it up. I know it's going to mess it up, but I'm going to try it anyway. Because I'm just playing. Yeah, that one's not going to work. See, it's supposed to do that and show the chain. So I'm using too much paint or not the right paint is what I'm guessing. So we're going to, how can I rem remedy this? It's a string and I don't want it that long. We're gonna dip it in some 
purple first. Get some purple in here. Aw, thanks, Grace. Hi, Mark. How are you? Hi, Roy. All right, so we're going to dip this pink one in the purple. And then um, I'm going to add some blue right underneath it and see if I can do it with the string. Maybe I need a little bit more paint in there. And trust me, I have plenty of purple, so I don't mind using up my purple because I have plenty of purple paint. And I froze again, didn't I? For a second. I see it freezing on YouTube. So we're going to go right here. We're going to put this down. And then I'm going to put some blue under it, just under the middle, because I don't want it all the way. Because this yarn might not be the right one either. Come on. Close up. And we're making we're making a big mess. Look at how much paint is on there. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I need <laughs> I'm making a big old mess now. We're just gonna make it our own. Yep, that that didn't work. Uh, all I can find for chain paint. Oh, maybe that's why she did it. She did do it on a canvas, Lorna. I believe she did do it on a canvas. Maybe that's why it's not um going right with the chain. So we're going to go back and because I kind of wrecked that one. Let's take that out. We're going to go back to, let's get our chain in some water. I don't want to wreck my chain. Um, maybe that's why I needed to do it on, uh, on a canvas. And I do have plenty of those. So let's go back and try doing some more of the loopy ones with the string. Because I really like the way those were turning out. How you doing, Nikki? I'm to learn is to keep trying so that's what we're going to do so we're going to try the string one again <coughs> let's see where did i say i had string i know i had it in a pink or something somewhere didn't i yes this pink so let's do this pink and we're going to try i want to try a loopy one i some So we're going to see what we can do here. And we got a knot again. So hold tight. This one's all right. So we're going to try this way. Whoop. Whoop. I just want to see if I can. Create something just a little bit different. I have a feeling that's going to be a funky looking flower, don't you think? <laughs> All right, I need a baby wipe. Yes, it keeps, it's me, Kathy. It's the, it's the stream yard that keeps freezing. But it, I see it keeps coming back. I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, it comes back. It freezes for a minute, then it comes back. All right, Patty. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing this on StreamYard. I'm telling you, I really miss um, I really miss uh, Google Hangouts. I really do. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try that and see what we can get it to look like. All right, don't pull so hard. Don't press so hard. All right, let's see what we got. I do have some canvas I could probably go get. See, that almost looks like more than one flower. That didn't turn out too bad. 
like that. But I want to do another one over. fireworks going off like crazy over here my eyes are getting heavy too nikki are you hi penny indisposed when i realized you called me it figured you were sleeping you all right let's get this in here where's my tweezers make sure they're not dripping I think the pink and blue will look really pretty. I guess I should watch some more of these videos, but I've been watching so many different things, trying to learn new stuff. Give me some new ideas. Aw, thank you, Penny. I know I got to finish that. That's the project I got to finish my friggin' uh, paintbrush so that I can show it to everybody because that thing was amazing. I had so much fun making that. And I know I can show it now as soon as I get it finished. All right, Dustin, go watch your shows. Have a good night. Aw, thanks, Mark. Oh, he's calling me. Hold on. I got to pause for one second, guys. Sorry, that was my daughter calling to say goodnight. Um, all right, so let's try this blue. Hopefully I don't let me move it over here. I don't want to bump my webcam. I want to do the blue right over it because I think that's going to look really pretty. See, it froze again. It's so weird. I don't know why it keeps doing that. The stream. And I rebooted before I came on because I didn't want any problems. And the stream here is just not playing nice. But then again, my room seems to think I live on the moon. It doesn't always like to play nice. All right. Let's try this and see how that works. We might mess this one up. We might not. So let's close it. We don't want to pull too hard. I love string pull painting and resin canvas. Yeah, this is new for me. Um, I'm, I know I'm making a big giant mess right now is about what I'm making. All right, so we're going to pull. We're not going to press too hard. And we're going to pull and see what happens. There, no noise. Maybe I did that one right. Let's, I know I'm making a mess of this pretty book that Patty gave me. All right. And let's flip this one up. Oh, see, I think that looks pretty. I like this up one. I'm going to try and do an up loopy one like that and see how that looks. Go up with the loops, down in a circle. So we got to pull these out. Oh, get this blue off my hands. Oh, thanks, Penny. I was trying the chain, but obviously that doesn't work real well on paper. I guess you need canvas so that it has something to grab onto so that it pulls slowly. I saw um, I mean, she was making these gorgeous. She was making big flowers. I don't want them too big because I want to be able to use these in journals and stuff. I think this would be pretty on it on a page. And we're gonna when they're dry, we're gonna have to. Well, no, we can't use the other side because we can't have it like that. So let's try. What other one do we got? Let's do. Do we try this pink yet? Let's try a yellow. Let's see how the yellow works. It looks like a trumpet lily. Really. Aw, thank you, Mark. All right, so let's... 
All right, this one's a big knot, so I have to get it unwound first, which means my hands are going to be covered in yellow. And I see it froze again. I can see exactly when it freezes. It's so weird. And it's so far behind, too. All right, so let's get this one. All right, so let's do this. I want to do the up loop and see how that works. So we're going to go up and over and up. No, this way, up and over. Oh my gosh, this is all sticking together here. Ah, up and over. Up and over. And let's see how that works out. Just could have started up a little higher. Oh my gosh, I got paint everywhere. Look at it. All right. Yeah, my YouTube is way behind. I have paint all over the walls. That's why, believe it or not, I have a I have a smock on, Nikki, because I didn't want to get paint all over me. You have to have a wet white painted canvas. All right, Lorna, thank you. See, I was watching it, but I didn't have the volume on, so that makes perfect sense. <coughs> that makes perfect sense. I couldn't figure out why the chain did not want to grab. All right, so let's close this one. And again, we're going to try and not make any noise, and we're just going to pull. That was a long one. <laughs> Hopefully this one turned out. Turn it over. Open it up. See, I like the long ones, too, like that. I like the, the way this comes in here. That's really pretty. I like that. I still want to try and do a uh, round one, a loopy one. It's got to work. Really 15 inch in bathroom up. What? Hi, Deborah. How are you? Is have a 15 inch screen in every bathroom. Eye popping. A 15 inch TV in every bathroom? <laughs> Laptop seems happier now, Patty. Good. Can you guys see that yellow? It is, it is really pretty. Guess I need to be up higher. I must have bumped my thing. Let's move it down a little. All right, because I can always add color to this and different stuff to this. Watch, watch me get creative. All right, let's pull this out. I still want to try. There's got to be a way to do a loopy one like I want. But I guess you can't. You got to think about the string as it's coming through. And that's why when Shannon said go back and forth, it seemed to pull it all together. But I still, I'm going to try a loopy one just because I want to see. And there I go freezing again. Sorry, guys. I don't know why it keeps doing that. And this one I used a little bit different yarn. And I did use a green. So we're going to see how this turns out. Because I want to try something just a little bit different. And this is a little bit thicker and a little bit shorter. So we're just going to go. Uh, maybe not. Let's go. This this one's kind of going to have a mind of its own. I have a feeling. So we're just going to do this and pull it and then we'll do something over it. So let's close this up. I didn't make that string long enough. Look at I'm getting green everywhere. Okay, I need about a whole new pack of baby wipes here. Or I needed a big bowl to wipe my hands in. <laughs> Thanks, Mags. All right, so let's see what this one does. I have a feeling that didn't do nothing. Let's see how much paper I can waste in this book tonight, right? Ooh, that looks cool. That looks really cool. I like that. I wonder if I could do another one next to it a little bit smaller. 
Let's stick this back in the green. Doesn't that look cool? I like that one. So let's try another thick piece. And uh, where's that thick one? Let's do another color right next to it. Yeah, I like this one too. What color should we do next to it? Give me a color, guys. What color should we do next to it? Yeah, this one turned out perfect. Yeah, I love that one too. Thanks, ladies. That way, if kids string, they won't have to miss banana or potato. Oh, my gosh. Purple. Of course, purple, Nikki. Maroon. I do have a maroon. Kind of. a. Uh, actually, I have a... It's not really a maroon. It's a... What color is this? It's like a barn red. So, it's a dark red. I told you, I don't have much for colors. I have greens and pinks and purples and browns and... This, that, maybe we should try this metallic green next to it. Pink. Pink? Okay, I can do a pink. Let's do this. Let's do this pink. Let's try this metallic pink next to it. So how long was that string? Because we don't want to make this one much longer than that one. So let's do right about here. And we'll do this one the same way, but we'll do it a little bit smaller. Ah, get off there. Got all these strings over here pink oh this color is marsh green don't ask me why i have marsh green i don't know i think um when i was mixing colors for a tree or something i used the green all right so let's do the pink see how that'll look next to it hopefully it won't wreck it when i close it back up pray you guys Maybe I should dry this one a little bit before I pull this one out. Let me get my dryer a second. Hopefully you won't hear this. Hmm. I just don't want it to mess up this gorgeous one. Going to get some coffee. No one move till I get back. Okay, Penny, we won't move. Teal blue. Yes, Edna, I did some. Look at this one I did with the teal blue. It turned out perfect. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? I love this one, too. And then this one has also got the teal blue on it, uh -oh. which turned out really pretty, too. And there's lavender also in there just a little bit. But that one turned out really pretty, too. Looks like one of those bug eating flowers. <laughs> the Venus fly trap. <laughs> All right, let's pull this pink out. Thank you, Deborah. And hopefully we can do this one close to the same way. Oh my God, I have just got paint. Okay, so I lied when I said I was going to try and be neat today because this is obviously not a neat project here so let's see so we want to follow the same pattern but we want to do it smaller so we're going to go here oh stay here stay here oh it's going to want to move here and where did we go from there there and here and here so just like that we need it to just stay now on the paper stay all right, let's see. Hopefully we won't mess up our green one. Oh, well, I just got pink on that side. Let's close that. Sorry, I gotta... All right, hold on. I gotta wash my hands for one second, ladies. Hold on.
You guys should have seen my chin. Remember when I touched my face with the blue? My whole chin was blue. Hello, June. How are you? All right. Are we ready? So we got to close this up. Let's close this pink up. Put a little bit of pressure, not too much, and pull. Pray, 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 pray. Pray I didn't mess up that green one. Okay, and let's open the page. Oh, it actually looks better on this side. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? All right, I want to add a tiny one here, so I need a tiny string. So we're going to use a tiny one. We're going to cut it in half. See, this is where the fun happens now when you start getting creative. So we're going to cut this one in half because I don't want it real long. So right about there should work. And we're going to use the same pink. Or let's see. Green, pink, and maybe this, this one. Sometimes you need an, exper an entertaining intermission to get coffee. Yes, you do, Grace. Dry them one. Yes, I will, Kathy. I'll dry it first before I put this other one down. I don't want to mess that one up either. Thank you for reminding me. All right, paint it off there. All right, let's get this down in the paint, and then we'll dry that one. All right. Let's get my gun dry, my heating tool. I love this metallic. Mm. That should be good. Yeah, that's good. All right. Now we're going to do a little one. Now that's a lot neater process than using my fingers. So what did we do? We went up and down and over and up and over. Come on, then, 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 over and down. A bit. All right. Let's close this. Close this. I can probably pull it from this side without turning it all the way over. All right. Grab our string and pull. Let's see. I'm getting brave now. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't ruin it. We'll find out. Yeah, see, I didn't push quite as hard. Now, this one looks better on this side. So I've got... This one, this one, and then this one. But yeah, I like that. That's really pretty. These are a little messed up, but I can fix that. But yeah, this one turned out really nice. Oh, and I'm freezing up again. I mean coffee. Sorry, old age setting in. I know what you meant. It said, I understood coffee. I know it said waffy, but that's okay. This one I love, though, so. I, I should try it. I wonder if I did it with this thin chain, this ball chain, if it would look different, if I use the whole piece. I wonder if we should try that. It might just turn into a big mess. All right, so let's pull these out. All right. Let's see. What other color haven't we done a lot of yet? Let's do, oh. Did I do this green yet? Oh, I have a metallic green. Let's try that one. Let's do a green, a metallic green, and metallic blue. How about that? So we need a piece of string. Where's my string? I'm using my cro my good crochet thread here to do this, guys. <laughs> All right, that one, and let's do another one. That one. So we're going to do green and metallic blue. Um, good. I hope you tried out, Grace. Did it yellow and orange? I don't have orange, though. I don't have orange, Linda. That would look 
really pretty. I have yellow, but I don't believe I have orange. I had so many dried up paints, I threw them all away. I could look, but I'm almost positive I do not have orange. But I want to try this metallic green. I, I will look in a second because that would. But, oh, I sure have made a mess of my. Green. All right, we got the one in the green. Where's the lid? <laughs> You'll send me some? <laughs> yes, exactly. Everybody should try just different stuff and have fun. Sometimes you just got to make a mess and have fun, even if you have no thought in mind of using it for anything, but just to. Just to sit and play and be creative. I, I think it's good every once in a while. Freezing again. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know why it keeps freezing like that. That would drive me insane. Keeps buffering but it seems to want to buffer a lot tonight. Ready, set, pull, string. There you go. All right. So let's do, so should we do them next to each other or do the green smaller and the blue bigger? What do you think? Mix some red and yellow for a pretty orange. Believe it or not, Penny, I do not have red. I have a barn red. I am not a red person. Okay, it looks like a blob. What looks like a, oh, <laughs> are you talking about if you did it? My first one didn't turn out so well. It was kind of like a blob. So should we do them next to each other? Or should we do, try and do one and then one inside? We'll do one color and then we'll do the other color because it seems to work better that way. I'm waiting to hear from you guys. So you let me know. And I know I'm probably freezing. So hopefully you heard what I said. Green next to each other. Okay, colors too. A big black blob. <laughs> blue first. Okay. We'll do the blue first. Thank you, Kathy. All right, so I got... See, I'm even learning a better idea of how to get the string out of here without using my fingers. So we'll do the blue first. I got to try and remember how I did that one. Where's the picture? So we went up. I got to kind of look at this one because I want it to look the same, but I want it to be a little bigger. So we're going to go up this way, down this way. And then I think I went around. So we're going to try that around. And this way. And we need to get just a little here like this. All right, let's see how that turns out. I don't know if that's quite. See, it doesn't want to close, and I don't want to. I think I need to turn it over, guys. Hold on. We need to go this way because it doesn't want to go the other way. All right, do more than one color. I will. I'm going to do one on top the other because I think. Well, we'll try one mixed, but I want to try this one and then do the green over it. And then we'll try one together and see how it turns out. All right. Ready? Here we go. There's the blue. And it's getting these. See, I need these rings out of the way because they're getting in the way of me turning the book. What's the problem here? Did I put it in the green? Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can salvage this and make this flower look pretty. 
see you learn about which ways you can go and which ways you can't so that little spinny thing wasn't right so we're gonna do whoop i made you guys jump so now let's do the I, don't know, I still see it freezing. I know I can see it out of the corner of my eye when it does it. So I'm going to go, I'm going to put this page on the bottom so this thing folds. And then I'm going to go like this. And we're going to turn it over like that. There we go. And then we'll pull. Almost have to sit sideways to pull that. All right, let's see if we salvage this. It doesn't look too bad. The green definitely looks better, but it needed more paint on it. No, I didn't try the blue first, Kathy. I forgot. Oh, Shazbot, pull string. String got stuck on staple in the middle of the book. Now, oh my gosh, Grace. on the paint when I do it like that and then of course we need some more purples because I only did one purple one all right and we gotta have purple I'm running out of places to put these pieces of paper so let's start from this side now thing is this is the way the book's facing so let's do let's do where I know I have a metallic purple I know I do but I, if not, I have a really dark, I know I have a metallic purple somewhere, but we're going to use this very deep violet, and then we'll use um, the lilac over it. So we'll do a really dark purple and a really light purple and see how that turns out if I can get this open. Oh, there we go. Phew. My face make oh my goodness grace <laughs> holy cow all right so this one and then we need another one the same size because we want to make them the same we're gonna have to make sure we have a little extra paint on it at least on one color again just don't get it Hopefully you guys can still hear me while it's freezing, but probably not. So I probably, you don't even know what I'm saying half the time, which this will make for a great video later. I'm sure everyone will love it. I don't know why YouTube is, uh, or StreamYard is freezing up like that. All right. So this one, we're going to leave a little extra paint on. So let's get that one in. That one's in. See, it's still freezing. It's like all jerky. And it's really annoying. Is it working yet? All right. Lilac. Okay, now it's working again. <laughs> I don't know. You're going to see my hands go wavy, wavy in a second, guys, because I was waving in front of the camera trying to see if it was froze. All right. So let's get this lilac in. I know I have a metallic purple somewhere because I have purple in almost every shade. I have some really cool ones. Yeah, I have to find, where are those? See, some of my paints aren't where they're supposed to be. I'm going to have to look because I have these two really cool ones that change color. All right, so we're going to leave this one a little bit heavier on the paint. So I'm just going to drag it out very lightly because I want a little more paint on there. Uh oh, this is a long one. So we're going to start way up top and see if we can go larger to smaller. So we went back and forth this way, then this way. So it's definitely a back and forth thing. You can't really go over it. And then this way, and this way, and down. 
Oh, I didn't leave myself much to pull, right? All right. So now we're going to do the light one. Hopefully it doesn't turn into a big blob. I'm going to do the same thing. All right. So we're going to go. Let's see if I can go around this one. This way. This way. Up, 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 up. This way. Ah, sticking to my fingers. Went gone again. Oh my goodness. Are you guys still with me? I wouldn't be still with me because that would be, how, how many times is it froze now tonight? About a zillion? How many times have I froze, Mags? Because I don't see the chat doing anything either. Yes, yes. All right, let's close it this way. We'll see how this is going to look. Put it down. Yep, we love you, Wing. Aw, thanks, Nikki. Thanks, Penny. All right, I didn't leave myself much room um, to pull, so I'm going to have to use the pliers too many times. Thanks, Mags. Hi. Hi, Crystal. How are you? All right, so I'm going to grab them together with the pliers, hopefully, and pull. Maybe. Maybe not. Somehow. Sorry, it's still pulling. I don't know if it's going to work. It's like stuck. All right. Figure out where the page is. Move these paints out of the way. I did it. I did it. Woohoo. It worked. One thing I. Yay. <laughs> Yay, Grace. All right. Ready? It didn't work. Turned into a big blob. So you obviously have to do one color. And then another color or else I didn't put enough pressure that time because my string wasn't long enough and I didn't get a good pull on it. That's where, where that came in. And I could feel it while I was pulling it too. So let's get these out of here. And I just went black again. And we're going to try that deep purple one again by itself. Because, you know, I got to have one purple one that turns out. Look at, I'm almost out of paper, Patty. Oh, no. So where's the deep purple one? Looks like three colors. Yeah, it looks like a big disaster is what it looks like. Maybe I can salvage it. I don't know. Whoops. I should close some of these up before I do make a big mess. Yay, Grace, I'm happy for you. How you doing, Crystal? I just call LED Nikki a sucker. Oh, <laughs> oh, geez. All right, let's. Where's my deep purple string? See, I lost my string. It's dark purple. How can you not find it? It's because there's no paint left on it whatsoever. I don't think it fell on the floor. All right, we're gonna try this one. So let's do just the deep purple and see what we get. And then I'm going to find those other two colors. Oh, I said I'd find, see if I could find an orange too. So give me one minute here. I just got sidetracked a little bit. All right. And then, of course, we can uh, always color them up and add leaves and stuff. She did leaves with string by pulling one one way and pulling one another way. Um, and we can add, use markers and add to them as well. So you can do all kinds of stuff once you're done. 
So let's get this purple going. Well, hang on to the string row. All right, let's try this one again. So we're going to go this way, this way, this way. And I'm sorry, I do have to talk to myself this way. And we're going to try and keep getting bigger as we go down this way, this way, and down. And that should leave me enough string to pull. All right. Let's close up the book. Close it. Push it down. Make sure it's got good coverage here. Need to dry. Yes, you definitely need to dry between layers for sure. Yeah, I don't think the two colors at once will work very well. All right. All right. Hopefully that one worked. All right. So we're going to turn it over. Flip this page. Flip this page. And let's see what we got. See, that one still didn't turn out right. What am I not doing right here? Why is it staying so thick? I don't think I don't think I'm putting enough pressure. It couldn't have been that I was putting too much because it was like it just doesn't look like this one does. For some reason, it didn't like pull here and there. Wow, I'm really disappointed with this purple. Let's see if I can find those other two colors. You like this one, Kathy? I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of this one for some reason. It looks all blobby. All right, let me see if I can find my two favorite colors. Give me one second because they got to be right here in my drawer. Gotta be right over here somewhere. The two best colors are missing. Oh, found them. All right. <clears throat> These will look pretty. And we'll do. Colors. So these should work. So let's get two pieces of string. Again. Maybe a little bit longer this time so I can have enough to grab onto. All right. Got that. So we're going to start with this bright one first because I love this one. I use this a lot. Did you use yarn on the green? Um. Yep, I used that thick yarn on the green one, Kathy. Wow, you're really paying attention. Yes, I did. So maybe we'll try that. Good idea. What yarn did I use? The brown, but I think I can use this purple. So let's try this purple. Not that I really want to. Where's that brown? Wish I had more of it. Um, it's almost like a jute, but maybe this would work better. Hmm. I really don't want to. Well, we're going to use a piece anyway. <laughs> I only have this one roll of this cool purple, so so let's go about there. We'll try it and see if it makes a difference. See, you're paying attention way more than I'm paying attention. Oh, I do that. I do the spritz and... Never be able to get up again, let alone I'll freeze like that. Oh, geez. <laughs> Imagine my head doing high kicks. Can canning around my room happen? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about, but oh, my goodness. If I did a high kick, it means a slip and fall. <laughs> I I'm right there with you. There will be no high kicking. 
I can barely walk sometimes. I'm tripping over my own feet all the time. All right, so let's get that one in there. So let's see if it makes a difference with this. Uh, it's almost like a jute. All right. So let's get this. I'm probably going to have to use my hands for this one. Sorry, guys. My fingers are going to be covered again. But I think it'll just work better that way on this one. Wow, this one's really long. <laughs> All right. And this one I kind of, I know I had to form. So let's get this page flipped over. All right. Let's see here. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way, this way, and down. All right. All oh, that one looks like it's going to turn out. Let's pray. Close it. Oh, take a deep breath. Let's give this one a little bit of pressure because I know it needs a little bit of pressure. Let's wrap this around my finger and pull. I don't know. I'm a little worried. Oh, look at that. See, that turned out pretty. All right. So we're going to use that same. I wonder if I can stick this same string. Actually, I need to keep that for. I'm going to have to do it again with that one because there's still stuff all over it. Good idea there, Kathy. Thank you. So we're going to use a little bit of the same kind of stuff, but a little bit thinner for the lighter color. And yes, I will dry it first. So let's get this one in this color. Yeah, that one turned out really nice. Can you see how it changes colors? It's like got different tones in it. It's really pretty. Yeah, I like that one. So we're going to do this next one. With the same kind of material, but just a little bit thinner. I think this material grabs to the paper better. This jute. That's what I call it. Jute or hemp cord or. Yarn would probably work really well. Like regular yarn. Because that soaks up a lot of um, paint. I probably should have grabbed some of my regular yarn from the other one. So let's dry this one. Because we don't want to mess this one up. Looks sticky yet because it's that metallic in it. It looks like leaves. Mm, that should be good. Yeah, it's got like a pink on one angle and then a purple on the other angle. It looks so cool. All right, so this is the one we're going to do now, this color. We're going to do it with a little bit smaller one. Let's see if we can do this without wrecking this one. I'm sorry, but I really want to do the two tones, so i got to keep trying. So we're going to go inside this one here and down and over and down and up. Oh man, this is so sticky. And over and down and over and up this way. No, oh, this way. Gotta go this way and down. There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Sorry, it's sticking to my fingers, guys. All right, I'll stick that down. 
All right, I gotta wipe my hands first. A new futuristic rebarb plant. <laughs> when you put it in a journal cover with fairy dust. Yeah, exactly, Linda. There you go. All right. Let's close this up. Oh, we need to go. So I gotta lay this this way first. And then I'm gonna have to pick up this book and turn all of it. Sorry, it went the wrong way. All right. There. Press it down a little bit. Move out of the way and let's pray. Oh, that one slid. That's why you got to pull a little bit. And I felt that one slide, so we'll see. Hopefully I didn't wreck the whole thing. No, just a little bit on this side. Just slid a little bit right here is where it slid. But that still looks pretty. I wish it wouldn't have slid. It needs to go that way. See, I can play with it a little bit. Yeah, that one, I think I needed a little more pressure. All right, I want to try a big loopy one this way. So let's pull these out. And I did not find any orange while I was looking for the other two colors. There is no orange. I think orange would be pretty, but I don't have any orange. All right, so let's try... I said I wanted to do this one again. So I'm going to do what's left on here and see what I get out of it. I'm going to press just a little bit harder. And we're going to go this way. This way. This way. Come on, stay up there. This way. I'm just making a big old mess, but that's okay. I'm just playing around right now. This way and down. We're going to see what I can get off of this one. I didn't dip it back in the paint, but. Now I have to flip it all over this way. And I am going to push on this one a little bit. to see it's sliding. Oh my gosh. I don't think it worked. I think I need to stand up and do this. I think, ooh, it might have worked. Might have worked. Kinda. Not really. A little loopy. Okay. All right. See, this one looks more pink now this time. All right. What color? We need a big one. Wait, let's see. What color haven't we done by itself? Let's try. Did I do this one by itself? No, we're going to try this one by itself. I'm actually going to go back to this string. So I just think it works a little better. The other one worked great for that one. I think it's the less times you turn it, the less times you wrap it. But I want to do a big one. So. so let's go in here. And I am standing up. I think it'll be easier. Brown. You want to see a brown flower? You don't let it whip you in the face? No, you don't. <laughs> what if you pull the cord faster? I'm trying, but it gets stuck sometimes. I don't think you... Well, at least from what I've seen, I don't think you're supposed to pull really fast. All right. All right, let's try this one. Of course, it's going to get a knot in the end. Why? Why, why, why? It just wants me to put it in my fingers. Like, I really don't want my fingers constantly covered in paint. And like, there we go. Because then I can't grab onto anything. I need another baby wipe. I can't even grab those. All right. So we want to do, we want to go this way. Let's try this way this time. This way. This way. Come on off my fingers.
it's freezing again and down. That seems to work the best for some reason, like that. All right, let's flip it back over. I'm almost out of paper. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. I don't know why it doesn't want to come out right now. And it just broke, you guys. It just broke. My string just broke. I got to grab it. <laughs> oh, this isn't going to be good. Hold up. Trying to save it. I don't know why these players don't like to cooperate. All right, got it. Oh, my goodness. It's stuck. I'm afraid to look. Afraid to look. Yeah, see, it needs to, like, I think they need to be closer together or something. I don't like that one at all. I'm going to have to turn that into something else. Right, we got one more try at this, I think. One or two, and then I'm out of paper. All right. What color, guys? Pick a color. Any color. Yes, all are still purple from Ecotine. <laughs> and you have a video to do? <laughs> Try some alcohol, uh, Lorna. It might work. Just don't. So I've got pink, green, yellow. I really like this green, but I don't want two. That green turned out perfect. Purples didn't work so well. Let's see. Let's see. How about a silver or something? Or we could try this, this barn red. Not really a red girl, but watch. The red will turn out the best with my luck. See, it's like that. I don't know if there's really flowers that color, but silver. Pink metallic. Where's my... Well, the only pink metallic I have is that one that I just did, which is this one. It's actually a berry. Let me see if I have a pink. Hold on. I've got pink satin. Let me see. All right. So I have this gold glitter. I have this metallic silver. We'll try the metallic. Mm, maybe not. This paint doesn't seem very thick right now. Like paint. It's more like water. But we'll try it. So let's try the silver. I've never seen a silver flower, but you never know. Yeah, I think my metallic silver paint is not paint anymore. All right, so we know we got to keep those loops close together. So that's what we're going to have to do. So let's see. Clean my hands. So I need to flip this page. So the loops need to stay closer together. Or it doesn't really turn out real well. So we're going to go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. And I sound dumb talking to myself. Let's go this up, up. And down. All right. Let's try that. I did two loads of dishes. It helped a little. <laughs> yeah, alcohol will help sometimes. Well, look at mine. Look at what I get to try and get off my hands later. <laughs> All right, let's flip it over. 
been pulled from this direction. All right, so I can't pull that hard, but I got to have some pressure on there. Because if the string breaks, I'm going to be mad. All right, you guys should see this pile of string over here. Let's see. See? Turns out much better when you put the loops close together. That one looks pretty on this side. I like that one. That one looks much better than the other one. One side always seems to turn out better than the other for some reason. I don't, although I like the end on this one too over on this side. Yeah, so we're going to go back and try the other one closer together. I got a couple more pages left. So we did silver. Let's see if I can find another metallic piece. Or something. Let me go look in my drawer real quick. You guys should see my room. I've got like little papers everywhere. Good thing I didn't use big paper. Because there's no room for big paper. Let's see. I have a metallic pink. Hmm. Definitely don't have an orange. I have a glitter pink. Oh, I found a better metallic silver. I have a um, glitter pink. I don't know how much that would work with the glitter if we'd really see it. Probably not. And then I have this plum pearl. Let's see if this is still paint. Yeah, we can do a plum. You like the silver, Grace? Keep the string and use it. Well, I think it's going to get too... Well, use it in projects. Yeah, I was going to say, it'll probably get too stiff. All right, so I'm not going to do too many loops on this one and see how it turns out. Where's my cap for my silver? Got to close that back up. Oh, that didn't go on there. This goes on the purple. This goes on here. All right. Stick this one in here. We're not going to do as many loops this time. Let's see what happens. And yes, I am standing up. So I hope you guys can, if you can't hear me, let me know. I'll talk louder. Because I'm standing above my webcam now. It's just easier for me to see what I'm doing standing up. All right. That should work. All right. Where's the lid? I kind of want one like that green one, but I want the bottom a little bit bigger. So that's the one I'm trying to look at. So I went up and down and around and over. So up and down and down and this way and this way and that way. So let's see if that's going to turn out. Look at that. You wouldn't think that that little thing's going to make something, but it does. All right. Ready? Here we go. Got about a million strings over here. All right. Let's see. That's pretty. Oh, it's because I forgot to open the page. So it did the cover. So we're going to do one, another one right next to it in the same color. I'm going to do another one right next to it. Maybe put a little more paint on there this time. That's why, because that's why I was making that noise too, because I was doing it in the cover. And it's, um, it's textured paper. Dry. Yes, dry, dry, dry. That's right, Kathy. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. I like the way that looks like it's kind of like tunneling down in there. That looks really cool.
All right. Let's see if we can do this again. All right. So we're going to do it right next to it, a little bit lower. So we're going to go this way. There we go. Close it up and pull. And it's going to make noise because that cover is textured. There, that looks pretty. See, that one turned out nice. I like that one. I like the one, the textured side too, though. That looks really cool with the textured. So doing this on textured paper would look really cool too. Could you see doing this uh, embossing a piece of paper first and then pulling that through like the embossed paper? If you rinse the string, it may tint it and wash away the paint that will probably make it sip. Oh, good idea, Edna. I could use it in future projects. You're right. Nothing goes to waste. That's right. Oh, thank you, Denise. Yeah, I like this one too. It looks really pretty. That one turned out really nice. All right, I think I can do like one or two more, except now I've lost my cover. So I need to take this out. I don't want to lose that one. Oh, not going to paint everywhere. And I think I have another really pretty gold one I want to try. So I'll try that. Am I taking out two pieces? No. All right, let's put these over here to dry more. The silver looks really pretty dry too. Let's see, where is it? I want to try this one. This is a uh, worn penny. I think this will look really pretty. So let's get our page open. Oh, yeah, that's really pretty. That's pretty. Okay. This is almost like playing with a jelly plate. You just never know how it's going to turn out till you open it up and look at it. And we'll find a way to salvage the ones that didn't turn out too fast, too, too good. I'm sorry, I was trying to read. Hi, Gail. Good fall color. Yes, it is. Good night, Lorna. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. All right. So let's go here. All right. Hopefully there's enough paint on there. Can't really tell. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to come up over. Over. Let's get it go up. Come on, come on, come on. I don't think I put enough paint on here, but we'll see. All right. Close it. All right, and let's pull. <laughs> My hands are just covered in paint right now. Ooh. Okay, I think we need another one next to that. That's a really pretty color. Could have had a little more paint on it. All right, where, no, I just put the string down on top. How could I lose it? There we go. All right, let's try it again. We'll do it a little bit uh, smaller this time. Sorry, concentrating, concentrating. <laughs> Just making sure it gets covered in paint. 
Thanks, Mags. Laurel, on that pink one you didn't like, put a little one, a shader. Yes, exactly, Linda. All right, so let's pull this out. Oh, got a knot, so that means I got to touch it again. Come on, knot. Why does it want to? All right, we're just going to cut that knot off because I don't have time to monkey around because it's just all covered in paint. So let's just cut that off. We're doing this one a little smaller anyway. So we're gonna go right here. Here, stay there. Here. 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 Uh, up and down. All right, stay there. All right, let's close it, press, and pull. Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one turned out really pretty. I like that. I love this one. That one turned out great. Yeah, it's definitely the motion of the string and uh, not crossing it over or around because that tends to, I don't know why it doesn't, I'm going to have to sit and study that for a little bit. Dry it, dry it. That's right. I didn't dry it, but it's okay. It didn't wreck anything. <laughs> Darn it. But that looks really pretty like that. And I think I'm out of paper. I have a couple more sheets left. I really like that one. I really wanted to do a different, like a big one like this, just down the center, but I can't uh, can't get my head right. I think you just got to use just very little string. So we're going to try one more. Let's get this out. Lay it down to dry. And then I think we'll be done because I'll be out of paper. All right, so let's do, what do we want to do for the final color here? Hmm. What's this one? Glitter gold. I don't know if we'll be able to see this or not. Let me shake this up a second, see. Nope. Uh, all right, well, let's do this blue. This Did we do this blue? Yes. All right, guys, what fun? Green and gold. Green and gold. I know, but it's so hard to mix the two colors together, Linda. They just don't look right once I mix them together. It turns into like this blob thing. Um, I'm trying to think here. Do we do the metallic green? That's the regular green. So, yeah, let's try just the metallic green. And we're going to just do one big loop and see what happens. I want to see how it turns out. So, we're going to try it like that. Put this one in here. I obviously have learned I need more colors of paints, that I don't have enough colors here. I can tell you this is probably... Aside from the jelly printing, this is the messiest craft I've done in a long time. Hi, Jill. How are you? All right. Let's pull this one. Pulling very gently because I want a lot of paint on there. And we're just going to do one big swoop here. Like this, and bring this up, and bring this down. And I didn't leave myself much string to pull either. There, we're just going to do that little bit like that. See what happens. Hopefully, I have enough to pull. All right, I need this paper out of my way. I got to bring it to the end, guys. Sorry, I didn't leave myself again enough to hang on to. Come on. 
almost would be better if it had paint on it. Come on. All right. Let's see. Hopefully it turned out. See, the bigger you go, the better. So I could probably even go even bigger. That one actually looks really pretty too. So we're going to do one right next to it. Just because I like that. So I could go even further out and back. I just need a longer piece. I think it would be really pretty. Come on, get back in there. I cannot believe how much paint is all over my fingers. Good thing I don't got to work tomorrow, right? All right. Let's pull this out. All right. Let's see if we can make a pretty one right next to it. All right. Oh, I didn't try. No one reminded me. Can't do it now. <laughs> Hi, Angela. Aw, oh, thanks, Jill. What? Go to Walmart. There. Yep, the apple barrel paints are 50 cents. You won't find the cool metallics and stuff, but yes, they do have a lot of colors. All right, let's see how this one turns out. All right, ready? Oh my gosh, all the string is sticking to my hands because of all the paint that's on my hands. All right, ready? Oh, that looks pretty. So now it kind of needs a tiny one right here. So let's see. Oh, let's try it first. I'm not going to screw up again. Let's try. All right. Let's do one more. Where's my green? All right. Let's get my green string back. I'm going to do one more. All right. I can only imagine. I think it just froze again. All right. So we're going to go this way. This way, this way, and this way. Just a little one. Let's close the book. Press down and pull. Let's see. Hopefully we didn't wreck it. And I did. But that's okay. I can cut that out. Didn't quite turn out. Something got loose right here. It should have went over to here. But that's okay. And I think that's about it. So, yep, let's see. This is one of my favorites. Let's move this one out of the way. That's one of my favorites. This is silver. Didn't turn out too bad. That pink one's really pretty. Purple one's okay. The blue and lavender, hmm, questionable. This pink, I like this one way better. That one's pretty. This one is pretty. Oh, they're all falling. That one's pretty. Mm, let's see what else we got here. This one's really pretty love this one that's definitely one of my favorites there's the blob that's ugly all right so let's see what was our first one this was our first so we started with this and we got to that so not too not too shabby this one's okay i think that's the one i showed already um this 
is probably my other favorite right here. This one's not, well, it's kind of blobby, but that's my other favorite right there. So that one and this green one are definitely my favorites. Where Where is it? This one. I love that green right there. Not that one. I should show this side, this one. So yeah, love this one and love that one. The rest are questionable, but you'll learn as you go. Oh, and the copper one, of course. Love that one too. So that one's really pretty. So yeah, that was my fun with strings. So obviously, oh, and this one, this one actually, oh, this is the last one I did. That one actually, the green one's really pretty. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Jill. Hi, Bonnie. How are you? So nice to see you. Yeah, I'm just about done. I don't even can't even tell you how many sheets we did of this, but you can tell. Look at my hands. My hand, that's a pretty color, isn't it? That'd be really pretty together. <laughs> um, the chain, obviously, I'm gonna have to get some canvas. All right, Denise, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. Yeah, I love the copper one too, Gail. Um, but yes, now I can add to these, which will be really nice. I mean, you can come in with pencil or markers or whatever and add to them, or you can just cut them out and use them on a journal page. Love this green one and love that one and this blue one. Yeah, those these are probably my favorites. Um, so yeah, uh, I will figure out how to do do it with the chain to get that effect in there. It obviously has to be a wet, white, wet canvas. Um, and then to pull the chain through just so it has something to grab onto and drag. Yeah, me too, Linda. Aren't they pretty? So, yeah, so that's it, ladies. So thank you all for joining. This was a lot of fun. It's nice to just sometimes just play um, and have no rhyme or reason why you're working on what you're working on. Just to try something new and um, rest your brain and learn something new. This one would have been cool. I may have to try that again um, if it had more paint here. I just love the shape of this. So I can always come in with a marker and work on that one. But I really like that shape too. And this shape is just gorgeous. Just a long shape like that. So would water paper work? That might actually work with the chain too, Jill. This, I think this paper was too smooth for that because the chain just pulled right off. Oh, thanks, Linda. Actually, I wasn't trying to teach anything. I was just playing and trying to learn. It's just not something um, I've done before. So I want to thank you all for joining. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Uh, I will be crafting, of course. So don't forget to get out there and create something. And um, you won't see me next Friday. I'll be gone in Kentucky for the weekend. But you may see me sometime over the weekend this weekend. Um, so you just never know. So I hope... Aw, thanks, Linda. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And again, thank you all so much for sticking it out. I know it froze a lot. So um, I apologize. I don't understand what's up with um, live with the stream yard, but hopefully it'll get better. So thank you so much. Um, yes, I'm usually on about 730 on Fridays, Bonnie. I won't be on next Friday, but I will be the Friday after that. So thank you all for watching and have a good night, everyone.